Welcome guys to this new video of TechExpress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. So to get started here, this is a step-by-step -step guide for beginners who will help you understand how to set up secure and use your DeFi wallet effectively. First of all, go into Crypto.com. Inside the Crypto.com application, what I can do is to download directly into the App Store or get it into the Google Play. Now, what I can do is to install this directly into my computer if you want to have more accessibility and browse through more DApps. So just click now into install. And once you have installed this, it's going to be asking you to get started and sign in. In this case, we already have an actual wallet. But if you wanted to get started and it's going to be asking you to add a new wallet, choose your network and create a wallet. If you already have an actual wallet, what you can do is to choose to add a new wallet or restore a new wallet list. And for that, we're going to be asking you for a wallet name, a main phonic phrase, and the network you're actually using to restore this crypto wallet. After that, choose the option that says restore your wallet, and you're actually inside the application of the DeFi Discount Wallet. Now, focusing into the setting up my wallet. After you have just added and accepted terms and condition and setting up a passcode, it is time to back up some recovery phrases. So make sure that you have just copy and paste all this new recovery phrase that was generated for you. Now what you can do is to understand what other elements directly into the DeFi elements. So I'm going to focus here into the left part that says home. Into the home, I have the total balanced, I have the staked at balanced, my total rewards, and down here the assets that I'm currently having. Here into my NFT, I have the NFTs that I have purchased. Now into the staking. The staking can be helping us to withdraw rewards and, of course, delegate funds and delegation management. I have assets, of course, the elements that I'm currently having, and the crown is bridged. They can be helping us to transfer from one POS chain into another one. So what I can do is to go from, for example, Cosmos and send it into Kronos, for example. And here's my asset, and of course, change it from one crypto into another one. And lastly, we have the DA app um, browser. What I can just add different elements, for example, I have Kronos applications, I have Seated application, chain configuration, and so much more. Usually, it's going to be helping us to get started and, of course, adding much more elements and categories directly into NFTs, buying much more stuff, and much more elements. You can do a lot of stuff here into the, the app browser. And lastly, here is the governance, which you can just add your actual money here in order to check out these elements of your store, the NFT, of course, your collections, and the setting view. So to get started and to buy your very first crypto or to send crypto from your wallet or receiving crypto, focus here into the home section. In the, what you want to do is to choose the asset which you would like to receive, for example, the item of Cosmos. And here what I need to do is to choose the option that says received. Now, it's received it's going to be generating me an a address that I needed to provide to the person who's going to be sending me that amount of money. If I wanted to send this money, I choose the option that says send. So here I needed to paste the address that was generated for the other customer or the other person, and I pasted it in here. Now, here into the sending amount, let's say for example that I wanted to send $2, the availability, you can just go for all, and the confirmation speed usually comes from 1 minute or 1 hour and 24 hours. Lastly, you can add a memo. Sometimes a few cryptos ask you for a memo that you must add. This is totally depending on what is the uh, token that you're going to be sending away. After that, go into continue and your money should be sent away. So it's a really easy way of how you can do these transactions though. So into the left part, you can go directly here into the home section and make sure that your transactions appear at the end here. Try to go for reload to make sure that your money now appears into the crypto.com. And just in case you have any issue with your account, just in case you haven't verified your account, or you haven't claimed it, a few elements of your account, you can just make sure that there's no notifications directly into the desktop wallet. And for that, you can focus here into the right path that says notifications. If you don't have anything in here, well, that would be actually it. And of course, lastly, what you can do is to try to secure your account. Make sure that here into your settings, you have the node configuration, general configuration. Make sure that you have enabled some exporting of the recovery phrase. And make sure that you have cleared all the storage. And just in case if you need to pause, you can check out here the help center, the feedback form, and the terms and conditions. Even what you can do is to lock your application 
So if you wanted to get started in once again, you need of course to sign in with a passcode that was generated that you created. If you don't, well, nobody can enter your wallet and you can just close it and you're good to go. So guys, it's a very really easy way of how you can use Crypto.com. It's going to be much more elements added into a phone device if you wanted to check that out the Crypto.com using your application from Play Store or from the App Store of the Apple. So with that being said, guys, you're going to reach to the very end of the video. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools of how we can get started using this great application. Thank you once again for watching this video, guys. Have lots of fun with your wallets, your crypto stuff. See you next time.